Hello, welcome to Special Data Hub. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import files, raster and vector files into Google Lite Pro. My specific interest is on Excel files, but you can always skip to the point where I'm in Google Lite Pro and I'm trying to import a file. So here, first of all, the first thing I'll do will be to save my file as a CSV file. Select my preferred directory and select comma separated variable. We are done. You click on save. No, I already have mine saved. So if yours is like that, you replace it. Then once you're done here, you can close this up. On Google Let's Pro, you click on file, click on import. And then it takes you, you can select your directory which you have saved your file. This is mine here, sample doc. And then if yours doesn't show here, probably the file format here isn't in line. But here mine is text or CSV. As you can see, there are several other file formats that are here. If you have an S3 ship file, if you have um, a TIF file, a GeoTIFF, a Rasta grid or JoJSON, it will appear here and you can just click on the file format and move on with your life. So here I want a CSV, so I click on sample doc and click on open. I'll typically leave all of this as default because mine is comma separated. Yep. Oh. This should be UTF-8, which it was before. UTF-8 encoding. So we'll click on next. As you can see the column names. Latitude field is in latitude, longitude field is in longitude. You can always change this using the drop down if it doesn't align correctly. And then next, all of this can be left as default and finish. Do you want to apply a style template? Yes. This will help you select your name field. It will import if you say no, but selecting the template will help you select your name field so that each point will have a name according to the, the rules on the table. And then you can select icon of choice. You can classify your data using different icons. Yep, you can classify your data. If you have data classification field here, probably by um, type. Yep, you can try that. And if you have altitude data, and as the case may be, you can play around with all of this. When you're done with this, you just click on OK. As you can see, I've clicked, I've saved this before, so you just replace it. And then it takes you straight to your points. Somewhere in Lagos Island. Okay, and then on the My Places tab, you can check the box to make sure your points are up. And here you have it. The blurry, f the blurry face which you can see on the map is due to network lag. So you can see the points accordingly here. So exactly the same thing can be done when you're importing ship files, raster files, or TIF files, or KML files. It's actually even a lot easier. That'll be it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.